So this is a really funny video. Um, I was doing some friendly matches, and then I decided just to see if I could gore a Sasquatch. And then from there, I was like, you know what, let's just see how many different mystics I can take with gore. And now this video exists. So, um, we're gonna be taking this rank 3 Sasquatch with my rank 3 gore. And just, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, obviously, gore is a cosmic champion, and not only do I have to deal with it being the largest battlegrounds health pool in the game, hitting me with class advantage, and I have to deal with mystic dispersion, and I have to deal with the fact that it's just a big Sasquatch. It's, uh, he's still annoying to fight if he gets to his wrath charges and he gets into wrath you have to deal with unstoppable you have to deal with all of his protection stuff before that his crit resistors is ridiculous but anyway i got the buffs i stacked them i threw the sp3 and i was just like okay let's just see what happens um he goes all the way down to 11 percent and i'm like oh wait that was a lot of damage so uh we're gonna do that second medium we place more debuffs and it's a rank 3 Sasquatch dead in one minute, less than a minute, 49,000 points with a Cosmic Champion. And I was like, oh, okay, that was pretty fun. Let me keep trying this. So now we're fighting a rank 5 Ascended Absorbing Man. And it's literally the same strategy. Get my buffs, get my debuffs, throw the SP3, they die. And this, for like the next fights, the SP3 just kills. Like, I don't even have to worry about debuffs after it because um, it you know, they have smaller health pools than a rank 3 Sasquatch. And I also could have, like, heavy attacked into another SP3, because with Gore, if you throw a heavy attack and they have 20 or more debuffs, once per fight, you literally just gain a power gain to max power. It's so fun, and it's just really funny. Um, so you just get a second SP3 just like that. But he was at 11%, so I was just like, I'm not even going to waste using the SP3 animation, I'm just going to debuff him out. So I did. Alright, so like I said, Absorbing Man is next, we literally just hit the heavy attack, and now he's dead, because we throw the SP3. So that's a rank 5 ascended Absorbing Man that we fought with class disadvantage, that just got overkilled by this SP3 too. That, the, we didn't even see the last hit of the SP3, which is by far the most powerful, so another minute fight with a Cosmic Champion against Absorbing Man. Now we're fighting Kindred, this is a rank 2 Kindred, so we are punching down a bit, but also who cares, this is just for fun. Um, so, in this fight, I'm not going to use an SP3, because I don't want to kill Kindred too early, I don't want to be stuck in the roots. Um, so I created a strategy where I just do a bunch of intercepts, trying to avoid getting atrophy on myself, and then we're going to just do the bait and counter, his SP1s like you're supposed to against Kindred. Uh, phone lagged a bit there, it's okay. Uh, so we're just going to counter his SP1s, which does actually mean we take a lot of block damage sometimes because of the crit through the block node. But also, if I learned to dex it, it wouldn't be that hard. I just don't know the dex properly right now. So we throw the SP2, and now I'm just going to start placing debuffs. Nice 28k crit at the end. Um, go for some double mediums. And every time we double medium, we do about um, 800 damage per tick with the debuffs we place. And here I'm just saving my special attack for the root phase. And you're going to see my furies wear off, and that's going to push him to SP3. And it doesn't matter, because I saved my power, so we break out the root immediately. And only 81% 81 uh, 81 health left, but also we're fighting Kindred, who just can chip you down like that, and we're using a Cosmic, so I really don't care. It was a fun fight, and I feel like I did a pretty good job of it. Next up is Dragon Man, again punching down. That's okay, though. Um, in this fight, we're gonna just get to do the SP3 and die kind of, um, kind of method. Um... And yeah, so we trigger MD just by dexing this fight really because we're gonna get to our SP3 and throw it usually before any shadow magic falls off. Maybe an occasional one or two that do stick, but that's okay. We also don't really care if we get an aptitude on ourselves because I'm not ever triggering any furies unless I go for an SP2, but that's definitely not the play for this matchup. And it was only the play for Kindred just because of the root at the end, realistically. Um, so anyway, I'm placing debuffs, and I'm going to throw my special 3 with um, 30 debuffs, and it's going to do enough to kill him, so there we go. Um, this is going to be another mystic fight that Gore takes with a good amount of health left and reasonably fast. Um, so yeah, that is 
49k points against Dragon Man with a Cosmic Champion, and then we last up have America Chavez. Literally just because we can. Been saying that a lot, but I mean, realistically, um, yeah, this is just kind of a just because I can scenario. So, um, Chavez, probably the most annoying when it comes to Mystic Dispersion and things like that. And also, my phone decided to lag, so I just lost like five seconds of time there, but it's okay. Um, we get our buffs, um, and then we just want to bait her SB1s for the rest of the fight. If she throws a heavy attack, it sucks. I accidentally kind of let her throw one because I uh, took a non-parry block, so that's unfortunate. So now I have to deal with power gain, which sucks, but also we're fine. Um, we're going to keep doing a few more light ending combos to gain a little bit more shadow magic. And here I'm like, you know what, five is enough. So um, we are going to be going for the special three immediately. And I got lucky she did not throw the SP2 there. I will fully admit that I got lucky there, but it's okay. Um, because she's dead. And if I didn't take that non-parry block, then this fight's perfectly fine and she never gains a dimension anyway, so it would have been a lot cleaner. Either way, 61 second Chavez fight, I will definitely take it. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it cool and interesting, you can hit the like, subscribe button, whatever the YouTube things I'm supposed to tell you are. So, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.